Hello, Gary Crowley here with DoItYourselfJointPainRelief.com and this is video four of four for stiff neck pain treatments. And uh, we're trying to basically help you find the main buttons for your stiff neck so that you can just, when the need comes, just release the muscle group that causes it and suddenly set your neck free. Um, Basically, this is a supplement to the main neck pain relief page where we go through everything to release your neck. But um, so you can feel free to go there if you haven't done anything or do this first. Uh, any of these techniques will only help. Uh, but here we're gonna just try to focus on maybe the main thing that could be causing your neck to let it go uh, so that you can get on with your life. So uh, in video one, we release these muscle groups here that yank your shoulder blades and maybe inhibit your neck from turning. Uh, in video two, release a deep muscle uh, between your rib cage and your shoulder blade that again, torques your shoulder blades and prevents you from turning your neck appropriately. In video three, we released all these muscles under your clavicle that again, inhibit your ability to turn your neck when they're too tight. And in video four, uh, we are going to release a muscle deep in your jaw that tends to kind of inhibit these first two vertebrae at the top of your neck. Uh, sometimes when they're really stubborn in someone, boy, you release their jaw and they just let go and their neck is, is uh, as good as new. So uh, this is uh, probably something you've never done before. Uh, it's a muscle deep in your jaw called your lateral pterygoid. Uh, pterygoid is spelled P-T-E-R-Y-G-O-I-D, so lateral pterygoid with a P. And uh, basically what we're going to do here is we're going to take your pinkies and we're gonna, one at a time, have you go down your top gum line and press on the muscle back there, your lateral pterygoid, and open and close your jaw as you press on the, the muscle doing, so you're gonna be doing basically a press hold move technique that I show you on the techniques page. But uh, you're gonna open your mouth about halfway when you do it, because that maximizes the, the space back there to get your pinky in there, and then you're just gonna open and close. And you're gonna probably start straight back and then maybe press up a little bit and get that whole muscle to release and then you're going to do your other side. So uh, you want to make sure your pinky nails are trimmed so you're not jabbing yourself in the back of your gum there and you're going to want to do both sides even if just this side of your neck hurts uh, but uh, I'm going to start with uh, my right side so I'm going to take my right pinky because I'm doing my right side and then I'm going to go down my I'm going to open my mouth about halfway I'm going to go down my top gum line and I'm just gonna go all the way back till I can't go any further. And I wanna press back there and I'm gonna find a tender spot and it's probably tender. And then I'm just gonna open and close until it starts to let go. And then when it does, I will then kinda go from pointing straight back to pointing up a little bit, checking that out. And that's a little tight. I'm just gonna open and close a little bit. And, and basically you're just, you're just pressing into the tissue and getting it to let go. Um, and then you do your other side. And again, this can be, this can be pretty tender. So any, anyone who clenches their teeth at night or grinds their teeth at night, this is going to be really tight. So, uh, but because it's really tight, you're going to get a lot of benefit by releasing it. And if you're a teeth grinder or clencher, then uh, I'd encourage you to do this every morning, maybe in the shower. And if you do it every morning, there's not a lot of tension to release. Right now, there might be a lot. But then you're gonna do your other side. Again, you're gonna go down your top gum line. You're gonna go straight back, open and close, open and close, get that to release as much as you can, then go up a little bit. And if there's any tender spots, real tender spots that I'm, I should say stubborn tender spots, you know, give them some time, get them, try to get them to release, but then move on. Do another spot, go do your other side a little bit, and then you'll find when you come back after you've released everything else, a lot of times that really stubborn spot will, will let go. So um, do both sides of your jaw, and uh, especially this is great for migraine headaches on the side of your head, or if you have the headache that goes to your eye, you release your jaw, a lot of times it'll completely let go. Uh, but in terms of your stick, stiff neck, do both sides, and then do your assessment. Wow, especially up here, how much better is that? Uh, is this a useful tool for me to use in the future? And then, now that you have done um, all four videos, just take a moment and uh, think about 
Um, did the techniques in video one, you know, or two or three or four help me the most? Uh, which ones maybe do you need to go back to because the tissue was a little stubborn and wouldn't let go? You may find, go back to say video two and you do that now that you've done everything else and suddenly you'll get a little more release out of some of the more stubborn tissue. And just try to remember which techniques gave you the most relief, which ones need more work, and uh, then you'll be more likely to be able to help yourself and set yourself free uh, when you need to. And uh, I thank you for your time, and I look forward to hearing how it goes. Thanks.